yeah. maybe I'll tell you, just seeing your, te your town team pick up a point in the first game, what do you make of what you saw? Um, I can't fault effort. I can't fault tactical understanding of what we asked of them. Um, but we've seen glimpses of, you know, what what we want to be, what, what I want the team to be. And and overall, I'm pleased. However, there's still a long way to go. You know, we've had the best four chances of the whole game in the second half. You know, obviously, Rose has had another chance first half. They had, I think they've had two shots at goal that have drifted wide of our goal first half. We've, we've dominated the game first half without dominating the ball for large periods. Second half, different, you know, they've changed some stuff, stopped us playing more. And that's, I, I, I wouldn't say frightened, that's not frightened us. We've then not understood how to work that out, which is understandable because we've only had an hour with them. <laughs> and they're not used to being asked um, to play more, I don't think. Or well, certainly some of them aren't, so it's hard. Um, so, which is understandable, this is not a criticism of the players, this is just where we're at as a team. So, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. You know, we've got a point. That's a good point. We come here, it's a good point. Um, I'm disappointed we didn't take all three because we've had four chances at the end with Callum, um, Donovan, Abu, um, Toby. You know, four unbelievable chances before their lads missed a sitter and could have killed us. So, look, the lads are, I think, quite warm and happy inside that they've produced that kind of performance because that's what they can do. They just need to open their minds to that, and they, they've shown that. Um, and I'm, I'm relatively pleased, because it gives us a great foundation to build on. But as I've just said to him, I want to dominate the ball like they dominated the ball second half, and win 4-1. You touched on the fact you only had an hour with a long training session. Is that better than you expected tonight to win? Um, the, the truth is, I had no expectations, if that's, that's the truth. If, if you just me, what are you going to get tonight? You know, you, 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 you explain things to them, you show them in, in that one hour, um, and you hope that they understand and take it on board and give it a go. And they did, which is really pleasing. Now we've got to make sure that we give them more and more and more, and so the standards are, are constantly raised. Um, some of them are starting from, they're all starting from different positions with different skills and different qualities and it's my job to assess which ones and need which at what time you know we've, we'll have a session on Thursday which won't be a lot because of tonight um, we'll have another short session on Friday and then it's another game against the you know, third in League One and we're all, you know, we're right up at the top of League One which is another tough ask so it's not going to be um, it's not revolutionary overnight, it can't be. It's going to take months, this kind of stuff. But I hope that the fans who come tonight saw a different Grimsby. They can see the seeds of, a, of an identity. And it's going to be rocky. It's not going to happen every week, you know, because that's where the players are at, that's where we're at. Um, and it's a journey. And I hope they understand that I, I'm going to take them on a journey. Uh, and sometimes I'll stand here and go, I'm not sure what they were doing. And I take, it, I take it on the chin, it's my fault, and I understand that. Um, but that's where we're at, and so, yeah, I'm pleased. I hope the fans are pleased. I think the one thing I cannot fault them for and praise them highly was their effort and their endeavour. You know, they were terrific. They, they let them stand down right at the end by not tracking the runners, two of them. But then, you know, it's not 110 minutes in or something like that. It's sort of understandable when you're not in control of the ball and dominating the ball as much as, you, much as we want, because then that doesn't happen. Because that white round thing doesn't get tired, whereas human beings do. So that's where we're at, and I'm, like I say, I'm, I'm relatively happy, but more to come. Uh, you touched on the fans there, uh, there was a few hundred of them up there, up in the gods today. Yeah, what were, did you make of them? They were terrific, weren't they? Hey, the men of noise. Um, listen, it's, 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 the onus is on us to, to, to give them something to cheer about. Every game. It sort of resets every game. Um, you know, but the ones that come, beautiful stadium and all that, they made a the right noise. You know, just why they were up in the gods, like you say, you know, it's like they were at the new camp or the Bernabeu, weren't it? And you know, it's a Champions League night up there. It's like, come on, put them behind the goal, get them close to the action, you know, make them smell the sweat and all that kind of stuff. It's a more immersive experience, but hey, that's not my, not my decision. But 
one thing they did have is a great view and I hope that they saw what we were trying to do I, I, that's that's you know that's that's what I hope they go away with and they saw a team that's committed to this to the shape because that's that's the bare minimum uh, you lost Glenno and uh, Rafael through injury. What, what's the early diagnosis? Glenno said he felt something in the bottom of his foot, which is probably a plantar fascia, but we don't know. Um, Rack said he felt his, his groin tighten up and he didn't want to make it any worse. You know, we'll, I think the proverbial cotton wool and get the ice bucket on him and, you know, and see where we get to in the next few days. We'll, just to wrap round off here, um, there's a lot of positivity on social media and from the commentators, everyone in the press box. More to come, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's day two. It's gonna, honestly, it's day two. I, 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 this is gonna, I, I don't, I, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's gonna take months, months and months. It is, because that's where we're at. Whether I get months and months, I hope I do. You know, if we lose 10 on the spin, I get it, that's that's how football works. It's going to take months and months to get us to where we need to be. With that group of players and how they perform tonight, I hope, you know, I'm here for months and months and months and years and years and years because they've shown that they can have a right good go and, and try and do it. And like I say, it's a journey. It's a journey. We literally have just got in the car and, and turned the ignition. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully, you know, see where we get to in, in a few weeks and months.